Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with first impression and first impression with The Warrior Free by Yuvia's Place. I have been so looking forward to this and this actually came to Beauty Bay pretty early. I, if I can choose, I want to order from Beauty Bay and not Yuvia's Place because then I have to buy, um, Pay for taxes and why do I talk about this? I don't know. So this is the Warrior Free palette and it is one of their nine pan palettes and it looks like this. I and a lot of others like was, why is this called Warrior Free? Because this is, looks like a Suli too. I have no idea but yeah I'm going to use this today and one thing that is a little bit different from Yuvia's Place other palettes. It has the ingredients on the back. It usually are blank on the back or is it something on the back? No, they're usually blank. Are they always that? I don't know. I maybe should look at try. No, they have been like with a little text on. But now it's like the whole ingredients and why do I even talk about this? I don't know. So I am doing my first impression with a Warrior Free, and I think I know what to do. So I will just zoom you in and we get started. Okay, so I think I only want to use matte shades. And if I just look at this palette, it is some shades that I really, really, really want to try. And it is, of course, the yellow and this one and this one. I haven't swatched any of these, so I will just go and I will start. I think I only want to use the these three colors, so these two and this one. And I think I will take this in my crease and these on my lids. I don't know. Okay, this looks good. So maybe it's a little bit more pink than I expected it to be, but... It works. Okay, I if, I if I'm going to be honest, I don't know what I expected. Nothing against it though, but it's not like exactly what I imagine it to be. And why do I take it so high up in my inner corner? I never do like this. So why did I do it today? You have no idea. Okay, it feels like I'm looking a little bit crazy now. I know. And uh, we just go with it like that. So, okay, I used this shade and now I'm going to take this on my outer half of my eye. And should I swatch it? Maybe I should, but I'm not going to. So... I really hope that these go together. I like to I never switch things. Okay, where is the pigmentation of this one? There it is. Okay, so this is maybe... Okay, I think I'm not even going to try to talk about undertones. Uh, because it's not my strong thing. I think this would have gone good with purple. Maybe I used the wrong shade in my crease. Feels like the one I have in my crease is brighter than I thought. But if I just have swatched it, I would have known. So... my fault. I think this works, but yeah. I'm actually thinking about taking something more in my crease. I wonder if I can take the purple one in my crease or if that's going to look strange. I don't know. Maybe I should try that because it feels like I want a little bit, bit more of definition to my crease. Okay, I 
actually think that I will try to take the purple in my crease as well. If you're sitting in there watching me and it's like, no, don't do it. I probably should listen to you, but I can't hear you right now, so okay. Okay, I think this looks pretty cool. I don't know if people like this purple better because I know that people like hate the purple in the Zulu palette. I don't use the purple in the Zulu palette that much if I'm going to be honest. So maybe I should have tried this purple like on its own and see if it's better or bad. Like this. I think this worked. I think this looks much better. So do the same on this and it feels like for a while I like deepened down my crease a lot and now I don't do it anymore and maybe I should do it more because I like it it isn't like that flat anymore but it feels like I have different periods when it's come to my makeup and I think that everybody has that like you get stuck in different things it feels like this isn't like the dream shade for me I like the color but it feels like it's I don't know but something like this and I thought that I was going to take the yellow in here I'm not sure but it feels like the shimmer in this palette is you look like this but like I can't do a blue again <laughs> so this is the blue shimmer the gray shimmer and the matte yellow I think this would have looked cool Super cool. This is like the reason why I don't swatch. Or maybe this one. This one. But it feels like this is pretty similar to a look I did not that long ago. So maybe not. Okay, I take the blue shimmer. So we will see. I will not spray my brush or take any glitter glue. I will just slap it on and we will see how it works. And I'm not sure if this is... Let me just place normal shimmer. Formula. But I... It feels like this. I have talked a lot about how much I love the shimmers from Youth Place because they are really easy to work with. They are like, they are blendable and also like you can have them in your crease if you want to. And you can do, I have done some only shimmer looks with UVS because I think they are... They are really easy to work with, like to blend out in your crease and have in your crease. I feel like this is a little bit more, not more flaky, but not like smooth as they usually are. I have nothing against it, but it doesn't feel like the old formula, I don't know. I probably I'm wrong. I'm just going to... Blend it in a little bit with this. Okay, I don't know what I feel about this. I have actually no idea what I feel about this. Okay, so I will take away the fallouts. I have quite a lot and 
Then I will fix my base and my brows and then I come back and I think if I want to maybe take the yellow underneath my eyes now because I didn't take it on my lid. I will see what I want to do. But yeah, I will fix my base and my brows and then I come back. Okay, so the base is on and time for the under eyes and I actually think that I'm just going to take the yellow and see how that will look so I don't know how this will because I don't have anything sticky underneath my eyes because because I already set my concealer so it's maybe not like fair to the yellow to I think it works at least a little bit. Now I took the pretty fluffy brush. I think it works and I have nothing against this yellow. I think it would look so much better like on my eyelid with eyeshadow primer and all but I think it works underneath even though I have set my under eyes. Okay, so I think I am happy like this. So I am going to put on mascara, take something in my waterline and put on a lipstick and then I come back and tell you what my first impression is with the Warrior Free by Youth Base. Okay, so this is the finished look for my waterline. I used Punch from Colourpop. On my lips I used a new one. I bought some velvet teens from Lime Prime and this is in Riot and I like this. It feels really good on the lips so yeah this is my first impression look with Warrior Free. So I have used, can I bend this back? Um, should I try to pronounce the names? No. I have used the yellow one and I think I have nothing against it. And maybe it's not the best to have like under your eyes because I think it will be it look would it would look better if I had a sticky base to put it on, but I have set my under eyes, so no on that one, but I think it would look good on like sticky base, so on my eyelids. And I also use this, 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 and this. And okay, I don't know about the shimmer. It feels like it is a different formula. It doesn't feel like as smooth as Yves Place usually is. It feels like it's a little bit more crumbly. Not crumbly, but a little bit more flaky maybe. Not like sometimes I feel that Yves Place shimmers can be like a cream. In a good way. <laughs> Um, this feels a little bit more like a shadow and not a cream. I really hope that you understand what I mean. And the other shades, the yellow, no, the purple was really good on this one to deepen down my crease with. These two, I thought this was going to be a little bit darker and that this was going to be a little bit more orange. And yes, it is my problem because I didn't swatch them, but I don't feel that it is super true to pan. I don't mind colors that isn't true to pan because I know if I really want to know how a shadow will look, I should swatch it and I like never do. So that's a little bit my fault, but... I, it feels like it's not like the same that it's normally is with UVS Place. I have nine UVS Place palettes, I think. Do I have ten? Nine or ten. And I love almost all of them. I am not super thrilled about the Dusay. But it feels like this is a little bit different. I also have... The Nomad palette, I bought these two at the same time. I haven't tried this yet, so I don't know. This 
looks like this if you didn't know but okay we are talking about warrior free it doesn't feel like this is like the other us plays maybe it's just me maybe it's because it was a long time ago since i used my us place palettes except for the mini masquerade but it doesn't feel like it is the complete same formula or it's just it's just me maybe i don't know i still am happy that i got it and i don't think it's anything wrong but it doesn't feel like 100% uvs the uvs i am used to maybe it's just me i don't know um, the only thing I can see with these two shimmers I can try to show you. If you look at them, it feels like this is more like the UVS shimmers I know. And this is... I don't think they used to look like this. I don't know if that does anything to like the formula. But it's just my first impression. And this is not a review. This is just my... Yeah, my first impression of the Warrior 3. So, yeah... I really hope you liked this video. Have you tried this and tried other older palettes from Uvia's Place? Do you, do you agree with me that this feels not... It's good, but it's not like top Uvia's Place. If you say like the Tri palette is one of my absolute favorite Uvia's Place palettes ever, I feel that this is better. It's nothing wrong with this, but this is better. But yeah, that was my first impression with the Warrior 3. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!